by YouTube, got all my Optimus 55 155 stripped down. This is going off over to SMS Industries. Um, it's going to put a new thread onto here for me because the thread's gone. But I'm not sure whether this olive has got a bit to play on there. Don't know if you can see very well. Yeah, see it's got step on it. So I don't know if one of these can be made, but I'll, I'll put that in there as well. So I'll send in these two to you. There's the capping plug. And then the filler cap. This, uh, I said in my first videos, this was leaking. This has stopped leaking now. So it's sorted itself out, which is good. It holds pressure, it keeps pressure. I haven't had to pump up. I've just been trying to use the paraffin so I can get it sent off. This hole in, in the diameter of this hole is 13.77 so that gives you something to work on yeah and i just uh what happened is because i it was obviously i realized this thread wasn't working because i got this burner this is just a junker burner it's got to go back so poorly made And he will punch the holes out on these two, and then these ones, well, really poorly made. But yeah, um, when this one all locked down, I thought, oh, right. And then I sort of inspected it a bit more, and I thought, well, if I sand this fibre washer down maybe it might get onto these threads here a bit more but now that didn't work so I'm just wondering if you've got another one of these fibre washers because I've sanded quite a bit down on there but that's all going to be all sent off to you now Then if you can send these all back to me that'd be great and then this little olive I'm going to tie this one onto here so it doesn't get lost. But yeah, wait for part two and uh, hopefully you'll see me cooking on both burners. And it's going to be really good then. A bit disappointed when I got the. Um, because it was leaking out of these two here as well and there's two nuts there and I was going to get them just capped off and so I took it to this shop where I live and he goes uh, yeah we'd do that I gave him the caps and that I showed him the pipes to see if he could fix these and he's like no we couldn't do that and he um, rung me back and says look we don't want to uh, braze onto the tank in case we melt any of the your soldering you could end up with more problems but we could take the nuts off of the these pipes we could take the nuts off of these pipes and then fill them nuts in so you can just use them as the caps I'm like yeah okay then but can you do one thing in case I can get these pipes remade can you um, just cut the olives a bit and then take them off with a screwdriver and keep the pipes whole in case I can get the pipes made? He goes, yeah, no problem. And this is what happened. They cut straight through the pipe to take the nut off and left the olives on there. Really disappointed. Because somebody could have made these and they would have had the identical, you know, the angles and everything. So they could have made these, but now it's probably going to be a bit of a 
pain in the neck to um, redo this. Well disappointed with that. So yeah, I won't have any uh, these little burners. These won't be ever working again. But yeah, other than that, I'm all right putting methylated spirits in here. But yeah, maybe a couple of weeks, you'll see me uh, cooking with two um, burners, which will be great. This this cap here now is, um, I did say it was leaking. Um, it's actually stopped leaking now, so it sorted itself out. It was leaking out of this hole here. So, the hole's pressure. So I don't SMS Indus said if you're going to keep using it, uh, uh, the military number 12, uh, you don't need to release the pressure. So I've not been releasing the pressure on this one either. So I just put the methylated spirits in light up and then just light them up and they're fine. I've only just run it out of um, paraffin today. Don't know if I said, but I'll just say again. That's 9mm, well you'll know that when you get that, but this inside diameter is 13.77, so yeah, so that's these I'll be all sending to you, they should be with you, um, it's Wednesday today, yeah, they should be with you Thursday. Okay then, thank you very much for watching and uh, stay tuned for part two and hopefully you'll see me making a curry on this side and doing my rice on this side which will be amazing. Okay then, thank you, bye.